going. So today I have a pretty cool video for you guys. I really hope you enjoy this one. Let's get to it. What was that? Anyway, so I have a really cool concept to talk to you guys about today. I basically am going to label it the wealth principle. So basically this concept, I'll put it pretty short. What I do in life, what I kind of follow by is doing everything for yourself. You know, sort of using your resources, sort of using everything to get to your end point on your own without that really structured help that we're so used to. So I guess in today's society, we're always told to, you know, get a personal trainer, get a tutor, get someone to sort of motivate us, help us, bring us along the path that we want to, you know, go with to receive our end product all the time. So I guess you guys might think, yeah, this is a bit confusing. I don't really know what you're trying to get at here, Simon. Let me lay it out for you. For myself, when I wanted to start gymming, when I thought, you know, it'd be awesome to sort of get a, a better physique than once what I was ages ago, I never really just sort of went to a personal trainer, paid them money and got them to train me to what I wanted to become. I used my resources, I watched YouTube, I talked to people, I read things, and basically I constructed my own plan to get to the end goal that I wanted. I feel that this sort of phenomena or this principle allows you to sustain that end product so much better than what you would, you know, sort of grasp by having someone else tell you what to do um, the whole time. So let's put it in a sort of different example to make it even clearer for you guys. Say when you're in high school and you have assignments, you have exams, you always get, you know, sort of homework questions to do outside schooling hours. There's no one else to help you there but yourself to sort of figure out all these problems. The majority of people would really just go for a tutor, go for someone external to go through the work with them, to help them with it and to sort of answer the questions with them there and then. So what I used to do while my friends were, you know, discussing the problems with each other, sort of grabbing answers from whoever had completed it before, I used to search online that very question, see what I could find, construct my own sort of ways to solve the problems, so that pretty much the whole process of it all was embedded in my brain, and from then on I was able to do it with no sort of hesitation at all. I think that this is a really, really cool thing to sort of make yourself do. To sort of make yourself the master of every sort of realm that you want to become. The master of. Anyways, basically, it's not really that uh, advanced. It's nothing really that special. Basically, it's just saying, oh, I just got scared by ducks. Hey. Back to the video. Are they gonna attack me? raise the leg, you know, they sort of get scared. Same, the duck catcher. Basically, this stuff isn't too advanced. It's not really, you know, the be all and end all of what you guys should be doing forever. Honestly, just do what you want to do. Do everything yourself. Stop worrying about other people. Stop worrying about getting someone else's help. Learn to do things yourself you will become the master of everything you want to do by just following that sort of, I guess, advice. Now let's, let's do it. Just do it yourself. Just do it yourself. Just do it yourself. Just do it yourself. Do it yourself, man. Do it yourself. Are you doing it yourself yet? Just do it yourself. Anyways, guys, enough of all this jumping shit. Bottom line is, if you teach yourself how to do something compared to someone else teaching you, you're always gonna be better off. You're gonna be smarter, it's gonna be more sustainable, you're gonna achieve more. Basically, you're gonna master it rather than just be good at it.